Hello and welcome to the fourth of my festive Fridays, my Christmas in July series. I will be bringing you a variety of projects all the way up to the middle of December. So let's move the camera down to the craft table and I will share with you today's project. I will be using the bauble from the Tag Buffet stamp set and the sentiment from the Itty Bitty Christmas. So here is my note, Whisper White note card and envelope. They come pre-scored and I've burnished the edge already. And here is a piece of our gold foil card. Now, this is, we will only be seeing the outside edge of this. So I will be cutting one of our rectangle di stitch dies from the center of this card so that we can use this centerpiece for another project. This will now be stuck down onto my base card. I'm using Tombow for this today is it's a very narrow frame. For my next layer, I've cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock and the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder is a new product in the upcoming August to December mini catalog, which launches on the 4th of August. Here is my piece of Whisper White cardstock that has been embossed and I'm now going to adhere this to my base card. Because this is a shiny surface, I'm going to be using my new stamping seal just take the cover off. Um, this is, I love my Tombow adhesive, but where there's a shiny surface involved, it does tend to slide a little bit. So this will give us a good grip. And it's really tacky, it sticks to your fingers. Just place this in the middle with a nice small border all around the edges. Okay, so that's the, the base card is prepared. Firstly, I will run my dust buddy over the entire cardstock here, just to make sure that if any fingerprints, the powder should help prevent the powder sticking where we don't want it. I will be using the Versamark ink pad to stamp two of these baubles. Okay, we'll pop that out of the way and pop the Versamark out of the way. Now I have a piece of scrap paper here that I just keep for using gold powder and I will sprinkle this over the top. Tip off the excess and there we're ready to heat emboss. I'll just put a little piece more on there. Now I'll be doing exactly the same using the Seasons Greetings sentiment from the Itty Bitty Christmas. So there's the sentiment finished. So here we have the two embossed baubles and the sentiment which I'm now going to die cut using another stitched rectangle die through the cut and emboss machine. For my baubles, I'm gonna color those in using our champagne mist shimmer paint. They come in a small bottle and I need to shake this up and I will be using the ink that is left in the lid in here. Now to use, instead of using my water painters, I will be using an old Wink of Stella brush. Now when these run out, I do use them with a drop of water or isopropanol alcohol and shake it so I can wash some of the pigment, pigment that is left around the inside of the barrel. I then write on here, I'm using this one for champagne, for the champagne. Because they, the ink remains in the brush, 
I'm just using this as a water painter. So just using the nib of the brush and just dipping it in the lid there and I will be colouring this in. Try and get some of that shimmer on the camera, camera for you. You just see how that's glistening. I was really excited to do this technique. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you some other samples done onto coloured card. So here is my prepared card with the trees embossed. The two baubles have been fussy cut by hand using the paper snips. And here is the die cut sentiment. Just pop that out there. I'm going to use some mini stamp and dimensionals to place on the reverse of my sentiment. And also on one of the baubles. So remove these ones from the sentiment first. And apply that at the top of the card, spacing it evenly from the sides. One bauble is going to go on flat onto the trees here using the Tombow. Press that down firmly. My card's nearly finished, but I just have two more finishing touches just to add to the baubles. Here I have pre-tied two small bows using the crinkled seam binding ribbon. And I'm going to attach one each on each of the baubles here. And there we go, just tidy those up. And there is my finished card. Okay. You might be wondering why I haven't tied the bows on screen. My next video will be on a foolproof way of tying bows. Regular customers often ask me to tie their bows for them, but during COVID and not being able to see them face to face, I'm going to be doing a separate video to be able to show them how to do this themselves at home. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. Please click on the subscribe button below. It is free. And if you ring the bell too, you'll be notified of future videos as I release them. My contact details will be at the end of the video and in the description below. Thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you again here soon.